food or whatever. You see what I'm saying? Like, what is it? What else can we do? You know, is is this not enough for you? And if it's not, go to jail. It's like, we don't owe you anything. So, somebody else was talking about my idea. So, I was trying to, like, create a program for people, right? This person wanted to keep me in jail or something like that. So, I'm trying to create a program for convicts. So, it's like, uh, for ex-convicts, because I saw how some people, when they get out of jail, or, like, even if you come back. So, it's not always for convicts. See, it's like, even if you come back to, like, come back home somewhere, it's nothing for you to do. Like, it's like, what? Like, you just lost a job, all this different stuff. So, it's like a program that'll help you. Like, if you got ideas, let's get some ideas out there and let's start creating. These people have, like, stolen everything and all this different stuff. So, it's like, okay, well, we still got time. I don't have to go through this with you. You know what I'm saying? Okay, you made a mistake, whatever. No, it's not a mistake because they keep doing the same stuff just over and over again. So it's not a mistake. You see what I'm saying? It's like, y'all, I don't, I, I'm too old and you are too. It's not a mistake. You wanted to do it. You can't lock somebody up and they free. It's against the law. It's abusive. That's what abusers do. Don't y'all see what I'm saying? That's what I'm, that's that is exactly what an abuser would do. You set yourself up. It's like y'all they set themselves up so many times, and it's like they still want me to sit here and act like they did. And you set yourself up because you didn't have to carry out any of that stuff. I can go through my son stuff. If I look through my son stuff and find a love letter, right? Am I supposed to react like a girl on a love letter, or do I react like an adult? Or I just, it's not my business. It's really not my business. If I find my son's love letter, it's not my business. If my son comes to me and tells me something, it's for me to be there for him. Y'all try to use so much stuff against me and it's like you can't because if we tell the truth about who you are and what you do, then you'll be in jail. Go to jail. Like, it's like how many times you gonna think you gonna put me in jail and you the criminal? I'm just constantly surrounded by fucking criminals. So that's all they were talking about. Well, you can't do that. That's against the law. It is against the law. I'm not trying to hold nobody in jail. I'm trying to help people get better. That was, okay, so one idea was to help them when they got to get out of jail. As far as helping them in jail because they never do. It's such a corrupt system. I was just saying therapy. Now you don't have to have therapy in the same room. And when they start bullshitting, leave them alone. You see what I'm saying? It's over. That's how you let that shit go. Instead, y'all, everybody bullshit with me, go through my shit. Commit all these crimes, have jobs. That shit don't make no sense. And I'm like, where's the research? And of course, y'all, I'm asking them for the research. This person don't have no research, so now they're going to put me back through something else. You can't. You don't even know what I'm talking about. You trying to hold me so you can abuse me, so you can steal my personality and give it to Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. Not knowing that I already got shit in place for myself. And nobody asked you to do nothing. She asked you self-massage. I meant to get my oil, but I'll use this one. Okay, y'all, so... Oh man, I'm wasting stuff. <laughs> Don't break. Okay, good. Nothing broke. All right. So, I'm like, what did I drop? I forgot it was oil in here. I thought it was water. When I'm dropping it, when I'm wasting it, I was thinking, oh, it'll be fine. It's water. It's oil. Huh. <sighs> I finally got me a coaster. 
I finally got me a coaster. So, uh, Shiatsu is much like the, um, Ayurvedic self-massage too. So, relaxation. Hold your foot and press in the sole and you rub vigorously across the sole. So, it's like in the middle of your foot and you rub it in a circle. Um, it increases balance, tolerance, and relaxation. So, believe it. Because, like, remember, like I told y'all, if y'all take, like, three deep breaths, like, and brought through your nose, you will relax. Like, it's like, sometimes it's better than getting high. I'm not joking. Uh, it's like taking a Valium sometimes. Like, if it's, if you really tensed up and you can't tolerate what's going on and you just sit back and take those deep breaths, you can calm down. And so, it's like, some stuff just naturally just helps you. And so, this is what my research would have did. Y'all see what I'm saying? What I what my project would have did. Y'all want to steal stuff so you can go on trips. And you can now run a school. And you don't even know how to talk to people. And it's like. It's not yours. You're not going to learn nothing. Because you don't have the right mind. You follow me all these years. I did all these shows. You haven't learned nothing. Everything they do, they listen to me, then try to change some, like, they, like, they weren't listening in the car and all this stuff. Somebody brought about, brought up about how Susan was going to sleep on the couch. The reason why Susan was going to sleep on the couch is because I told somebody in my truck, in my Ford F-150, y'all, this is how long they've been recording me, in my Ford F-150, I told somebody that, um, that's how the men are here. I told them that a long time ago before the video I did here. In my car, I said, that's how they are. When they go buy a couch, they're going to check and see if they can sleep on it. Because they usually sleep in a bed separate from you. Like when they first meet you, if y'all spend the night together, they sleep. And they they sleep like in a, on the couch or they'll sleep. In another room. You see what I'm saying? Like, they don't sleep in the room with you. They'll sleep in the guest room and you get a room. And so, it's like, that's so sweet. So, it's like, instead of y'all learning from what I'm teaching you, y'all still come and send ignorance to me. Well, and like, if I was saying you, like, the best man for you. The best part, I would send you good conversation. I would send you roses and chocolate. Y'all see what I'm saying? It's like y'all put the wrong people in my life. And I, I'm and, I, and it's hard to get rid of them because y'all just as ignorant as the people are that you put in my life. Thinking they cool. These people are not cool. Ain't nothing cool about a man that's going to try to jump in the bed with you and rape you. Ain't nothing cool about that. I ain't trying to send you no rape. But that's what you would send me. Y'all see what I'm saying? Y'all see the difference in what I'm saying? I'm trying to teach you how to relax and how to take care of yourself. Y'all over here, I'm talking about looking at everything I do, talking about something wrong with it. Ain't nothing wrong with nothing I do. I'm not none of those people that you think I am. That lady looking at my stuff, talking about, then you jump from job to job. It's not your business. If I did. And no, I didn't. But if even if I did... It was never your business. Who the fuck are you to call me and ask me if I jump from job to job? And I'm thinking that's that Robbie Reed bitch. Y'all see what I'm saying? It's just, this is a bunch of ignorance. You ain't learned shit, but you can hear all the actors I'm talking about. You can hear about all our Man Crush Mondays. You can hear about my, you can come here and steal my fucking clothes and see what I'm doing on my afterpay. But you can't hear that you wrong about the shit you doing. I kill one of y'all, man. If I, if I'm serious, bitch. If you was her, I'd beat your ass. I'm talking about I'd beat your ass and fuss at you. I'm not fucking playing. You need a good ass whooping. That'd be the fucking problem. Um, next, relaxation. You can squat and hold your foot and your thumbs and your soul. 
uh, between your throat into a soul fingers and then you just like press into your souls or whatever energy flow separate your toes Tracy Ellis Ross was showing us this and I was like that's some candy would do separate each toe hold between index thumb massage and release and so it's like when people are showing you this stuff it's like we showing you because this makes you feel so good Patrick used to make us like right on the bottom of his foot with a pen and like I mean it just make you feel so good like it's just like something you don't have to actually touch the person you could take this and just like on the bottom of their foot just like rub it for Blake I, I just massage his little feet but it's like yeah you just um take something and you just rub it across their skin it just feel good to them so my cousins actually taught me some of this stuff too so it's like stuff that we practice together like um uh Terrell he always like a head massage or something like that so it's like they people will teach you how to touch them and it's not this is so you get energy into your body energy flowing apply even pressure against chest and move slowly in circles and you can do this with the oil like I told y'all like the Abbey oil so they just saying do it but you can use oil like uh I would use peppermint oil for my chest and my back so the next one is like you can also put your knuckles in your back and press in there and put pressure up for strength. You can like squeeze your sides for confidence and say rub your belly. And so do you see how cultures just overlap? Because now that is like from the Muslim culture. That's from an Orthodox Muslim teaching that I learned that from. Um, four fingers on the front and then push it through the back. You see, um, three fingers. Somebody else taught me this with the three fingers and then changing the size again, pushing the pressure. And so that's something that just make you feel good. You see what I'm saying? And it's all this stuff is like it's just something that they just learned over the age. It's mental clarity. You can like rub your temples and you can use like a lavender like like if you have a headache, you can put it right here and rub it in. Uh index finger at the right angle and nose rub left and right and back like you see what I'm saying like that um I exercises anxiety you can like put oil that's what I was trying to show y'all but again I buy organic they say like this stuff is never pure but anyway you put it in your head this the one I do like all the time and you just like rub your head and y'all know how to do this for real like you don't have to rub it vigorously like I am like you can take your time and rub it but this is something that you always can do so this is all the stuff you can do but yeah that's my favorite one that's the one I wanted to show y'all muscle tension like it's like you know you can kind of like squeeze it like you know what I'm saying tension in your head you can put your hands here and do this uh insomnia they saying do this like her jet lag is her eye fatigue rub it with your palms <sighs> so that's all things that you can do for what is this thing called uh what what is the show today? I'm sorry. Pamper yourself. Pamper yourself. I also like to put on like put oil on my feet and then like put socks on, like warm socks on. That's so good for you. Uh the next is thirty positive affirmations for gratitude. And I'm just gonna say five and move on with my life. I'm going to do the 10 week workout plan. I'm actually printed out today. So the do's and the don'ts of um, a self massage. Like they like don't use your favorite towels because of the oil. Like I usually like when I put oil on my body I go take a shower. So that's why I'm not doing my arms and stuff like that. So I will. I like really lather in the oil. Rub it in and then I go take a shower. Uh, Sometimes you can do that and then you can even do yoga. And then go take a shower. You see what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to, like, keep the oil on there. Even if you are black. You know, you got to come back and put oil on. So, I put a different oil on. Because this stuff, like, use the olive oil. It'll get on the sheets. It'll get on, like, it'll get on everything. Like, on my yoga mat, it's, like, oil still on there. It's, like, hand prints. But I keep, I put oil on my yoga mat, too. Like, for the smell. Like, for the lemongrass and all that stuff. So, 
it's like yeah don't use your favorite towels um use the same do use the same spot for the oil massage just so you you know what i'm saying like i lay a towel out of something and then i start doing whatever i have to do um take one time one, uh, a week for a good session for yourself for a self massage um do it don't do it in the cold place don't use rancid oil don't rush and don't clog your drinks and then give up so it's like you really want to kind of put the oil and stuff in the trash can like when you oil pull it you want to put that in the trash can make it a family affair y'all can start like self massaging together sculpture go us uh, uh, what is it sculpture god or your goddess like you know what i'm saying like make yourself into who you want to be like rub it into what you want to be start with your feet I always kind of do um and warm your oil for a special treat so and you don't have to do look y'all the oil and the water like it does not have to be uh super warm you could just put this under hot water whatever you use and I use a glass bottle you could just put that in hot water and it'll heat it up like it does not have to be like super hot just like just put it in, like right under hot water put it in in uh hot water and it'll be fine um this is a 30 day journal grat for gratitude or whatever like affirmations guess what it's taking too long okay I feel nothing but gratitude for my life you have to like I have no other choice because they have tried to kill me three or four times and they have killed my family so it's hard not to I mean, well, it's, yeah, it's hard not to feel gratitude. Sometimes I try to make people understand, like, I just try to talk to y'all slowly so you really understand that I'm alive. You just see what I'm saying? They kill sister soldier. You see what I'm saying? I could be dead. I'm in charge of my happiness. The more I express my gratitude, the more things I receive and I'm thankful for. I'm in control of my own destiny. I'm a magnet for positive experiences. And they could be giving me the fake news, too, so I don't know really who been going through what for real like some of this shit be fake uh self-care checklist so physical um they have like all the stuff you can do psychological Uh, emotional self-care, spiritual self-care, and social self-care. So, what this does, it's like, it's just a, it gives you like a sheet of like, all the things you can do for yourself. Like, psychological, people don't know, practice a hobby, learn new things, read on topics, uh, take a break from screens, all this different stuff. Some people don't know that. I'm sorry, y'all got an itch on my titty. But, that's it. Like, so it's like, um... Six psychological effects of that affect our um, psychological effects that trick our brain. It's not gonna come up. Something else came up. Oh, yes, it is. So I also put in here like the different types of yoga, which I always put in there. So it's like if you really listen to my show, you would probably probably already know your type of yoga and your type of meditation and it's like it's, it is on the pinterest board making new friends if i could have real friends i would training versus development that's like something i really don't need I, like i've been making friends like most of my life like because i travel so it's like you know we spend time with our make with our travel friends for like three or four days and it's like so quick to be like this close like you'll be close as thieves you'll be thick as thieves and they don't have any like fucked up ass ideas of life or anything like they not crazy you know what I'm saying so it's like sometimes you travel you just meet a good friend like Nelly and the girl that was with us I don't remember her name but sometimes you travel and you just meet people and it's like y'all just y'all become thick as thieves and it's like I'm for real if I met any of them again I'd probably just do the same thing because they have a right they had a right mindset like we just hang out and talk and all that stuff you and none of, nobody is talking crazy like i was at the bus at the train station the other day and that white girl she started telling the story about how cecil was at my house but she was saying it was her so she was like she was telling him you can leave or you can you can go to bed and so they think that's what happened but i was on the phone with jamel 
And it's like, it's not your business what happened. So why would you come here and sit in front of me and try to tell me a story that happened in my house? Y'all see what I'm saying? Like, this stuff is so stupid. And it's like, do you know that that is against the law? Like, you can't, everything you're trying to do is against the law. You see what I'm saying? It's just like, ain't none of this ever been your fucking business. And so I'm just looking at it. I'm going back to Merlin. And I, I was like, so listen, if you being sex trafficked, that's what I told him. You being sex trafficked, go to the end of the train and then turn your phone on airplane mode. And she just got a bike. So I was riding a bike in Texas. It's like, y'all just don't know. And it's like, that's what it is. That's how I know. Because when I was riding a bike, that's when they were stalking me with Elder. Y'all see what I'm saying? He was a Hispanic man. Now she going back to Merlin. This dude, like, if he in there beating your ass, why you gonna say to him, um, why you gonna say that to him? Y'all understand what I'm saying? Like, you would, t- you would actually say to him, come to bed or go home. He in there whooping your ass. Like, I'm talking about beating the fuck out of you. You gonna ask him to come to bed? I'll kill that nigga. I'll kill him. Come to bed or go home. You got another place to be and you and her beat my ass. Y'all be just like, I can't understand. I don't be understanding. I just I don't, I don't be understanding. Six psychological effects that explain our brains. The Pratt Fall effect. Your likability will increase if you aren't perfect. The Pygmalion effect. Greater expectations to drive a greater performance. The paradox of choice, the more choices we have, the less likely we are to be content with our decision. The bystander effect, the more people who see someone in need, the less likely that is the person to receive help. Exactly. The spotlight effect, your mistakes are not noticed as much as you think. The focusing effect, people place too much importance on one aspect of an event and fail to recognize other factors. It's like, this is stalking all... All this is stalking for me because they pay attention to every fucking little thing I do. Everything I say. And it's like that stuff was recorded inside of my house at 1405 West Main in Belleville. And this girl just sitting there for real trying to tell me what the fuck happened at the fucking house when I was there. She was like, and she's like, well, I'm sorry. I don't mean to talk. I, you know, they'll keep trying to talk over me. That was the same thing that happened on the bus. The girl was like... Um, talking about the kid in the classroom having some coffee and her son loves to have her coffee and he's 12 years old and all this different stuff. It was one little boy, he brought a drink to school and he had like a lot of sugar and I was like, no, nah, you're not going to do that because he already bad. So the woman must have got mad, the mother must have got bad. Like, no, nah, you just have to say that for lunch or something because you're not about to drink that in my classroom right now. And he kept acting, look y'all, it wasn't even been a problem. But this is what he was doing. He was just all onto the drink. He wasn't paying attention to the lesson. Nothing. So I guess this woman must have been mad. Because of the drink. And I'm like. Out of all the shit. To stalk me over. You're going to stalk me over the fact that. This little boy. Brought this. Special ass drink. drink to school look I am not the teacher that tells them we don't need to do this in class in front of the class because it is the school that should be telling them that and so I had one student too look they be combining everything together this is all, this is all they got I didn't let the boy drink to drink they don't never think about parenting for real this little girl brings Her mama come up there for her birthday. And she gets Gigi tickets or Digi, Diggy, Diggy, Duggy, Diggy, or whatever his name is for her birthday. And she wants the class to see. The class is not going. I have lived in Frisco, Texas. We don't do that stuff unless we go to the house party. We had a party at the house. We don't need to have a party in the classroom no more. I'm talking about... We don't... It's not something we need to do. It's it's just something you don't need to do. I need to teach my class. 
I'm talking about every time this always been a distraction in my classroom. Never something or somebody with some sis or some caliber. These are just distractions inside the classroom. Anyway, training versus development. Look at that too, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and go because it's like now I'm just I'm tired of myself talking about they bullshit. Y'all gotta stop. Like I thank you and I love you. Y'all gotta stop. I don't gotta stop. Y'all gotta stop. Ain't nothing going. I don't do nothing. Y'all gotta stop. <laughs>